Well, it seems like this hunk of junk is going to be waltzing with Matilda. It's recently been announced that Koreans and Chinese living in Australia will be placing a number of monuments to the comfort woman throughout the land down under in Australia. And this is an insidious plan. And I say this because in this plan they issued 10 points they hope to attain their 10 point objective by placing this throughout Australia. And the 10th point is the one that's insidious. The 10th point is it hopes to persuade the United States government to urge the Japanese government to refrain from a military buildup. What does that have to do with the comfort women issue? Nothing. But it has to do with a concern from the communists in China. I've been saying this all along. The communists in China have been exploiting the emotions on this issue for their own objective. The communists in China do not want to see a Japanese military buildup because it will deter their aggressive plans in the region. So they're masquerading the concern for the comfort woman as an issue, as a step to urge the government of these United States of America to deter a military buildup in Japan. It seems like I had to travel to Glendale, California to sit next to this hunk of junk. Also, when I was in Anglois, Anglois, that place in, <laughs> in France, I came across a painting of this hunk of junk. Now, am I going to have to travel to Australia <laughs> to sit next to my favorite hunk of junk again? Folks, it's disgusting what's happening. It's pure Japan bashing. Um, would one be surprised to see this taking place in Australia? I mean, after all, Sea Shepherd, which is an anti-Japanese, pro-Japan bashing organization, enjoys enormous support in the land down under. So I could see why this would be taking place in that very same country. They, and I take offense to the fact when they tell me I don't know history. They do not know what I do not know. I don't even know what I do not know because if I knew what I did not know, I would know it. But, but. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation you happen to be in. And God bless my good friends in Japan. And understand this, as I've said repeatedly. The United States has come to understand that we're always going to have to put up with terrorists and we resolve ourselves to the fact. Well the people in Japan, you have to resolve yourself to the fact that this comfort women issue is an issue you're always going to have to deal with because the South Koreans are not going to let it die and the communists in China are going to keep promoting it for their own selfish reasons. See ya. <laughs>